In today's tech video, we are going to unbox this guy right here. This is the Crystal UHD 7 Series, the TU7000. So we're going to unbox this thing and we're going to get it set up and show you guys what it can do. That's today's tech video. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. Uh, so I'm a little bit sweaty right now because I just got done taking a TV right here. Uh, that was an insignia, like 50, no, 65 inch also. This is a 65 inch Samsung that we're getting ready to replace it with. But that insignia was heavy because it was like five years old. Um, just a quick little note. Don't buy cheap TVs, they don't last very long. We're already having to replace that TV, so we're, we are replacing it with this guy here. This is the Samsung UHD Crystal UHD. It's the seven series, so this TV here is gonna last us a lot longer. But yeah, right now I'm in my church setting. This is where I'm at, I'm in the foyer. That's why it's real echoey in here, so I apologize for the, the bad sound. But we're gonna unbox this, uh, get it set up, and um, yeah, see how well this the clarity is on this TV and see how well it does in this particular setting with maybe windows behind us. So I think it's gonna be a good test and um, maybe answer some questions on if this is the TV for you. Okay, so here comes the fun part, getting the knife out. Let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, kids, do not play with knives at home. But this is a, this is a sharp knife. Let's go ahead and rip these off. All right, so since this is a 65 inch TV, I do recommend that you get some help in lifting this thing. Um, even though they do make TVs pretty light and uh, pretty thin, uh, you still, when they become this size here, you want them to get kind of awkward to handle. So get somebody to help you. I'm gonna go get my son. Okay, now that we have it unboxed, well, somewhat unboxed, I have it set up so it's stable. Uh, let me show you what you do get inside the box. You get a user manual. I never read those things, to be honest with you. Uh, the quick setup guide, kind of give you some step-by-step -step process on how to get this thing set up. Here's the Samsung remote. Um, it looks like your your average Samsung remote the, with, the, with the push button here instead of like a the QLED remotes that are a little bit more sleek in design. But I kind of like this remote. I like the feel of the button myself. Uh, here's the AC power adapter. Another good thing about Samsung, they're not real big power bricks. I like that they have these small, uh, minimal type of cables. A couple off-brand batteries for the remote. These are the legs. Uh, if you are going to be mounting them, they have some rubber feet on the bottom. And then I'm not quite sure what these two clips are, but they came with the legs. Maybe to help stabilize it, but that's what you get inside the box. I won't be using those legs because we will be mounting it onto the wall up there. I'll probably just put those off to the side. But on the back side here, we have the four screws where I'll be mounting this on the wall. But just to give you an idea of what's on the back, we do have a USB port here to hook up any type of media. You got your digital out for your optical cable. Um, that's always a good way to hook up uh, like a sound bar. This one does have the eARC. So that's kind of newer on the new 2020 uh, Samsung models is that eARC, the HDMI. And um, then that does have another regular HDMI hookup here. And then your like antenna hookup if you're gonna have like open air TV. Um, on the back right there, if you wanna hook up a ethernet cable, you can do that directly into the television. And then right there is where you hook in your your power adapter. But yeah, that's what the back of this thing looks like. I mean, it's got a kind of a texture feel. And then on the front side, I'm not gonna quite pull this off yet until we get it hung up there just to save from putting any kind of fingerprints on there. Let's go ahead and continue. Okay, got this thing hung. When you're hanging at this high, you need multiple people. See how high I am here? I'm standing like, actually on a coffee bar, but it took three of us, uh, two people on each end holding it while one person um, screwed it, screwed the uh, bracket back into the TV, but it's up. Uh, now comes the fun part of unpackaging it and peeling off all the plastic. All 
right, here's the first thing I noticed with this 7 Series. Look at that bezel. It's almost bezel-less. I love how thin that is. All your newer TVs are trying to get rid of the, the bezels. And Samsung has done a pretty good job with um, making this one so thin. Uh, but the only branding on here is that silver nameplate right there. Okay, now on to the setup process. I got my remote. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on for the very first time. This one does have a little bit of glare on it. Since I do have this hooked up through the HDMI one, HDMI one input, I'll go ahead and turn on the device there. Okay, now I do have a computer um, that's hooked up to this TV here, so that's what I'm gonna be projecting onto the screen. But if you do have like a, most of you guys are gonna be hooking up a TV or maybe like even a game system or something like that, I would go with the HDMI ARC 2, especially if you are a gamer, hook it up to the number two slot. But since I'm just hooking up a computer, that's why I'm going to HDMI 1. Okay, now you're gonna to wanna to connect it to your wireless network. You just look over here on the side for your wireless network name and then enter in the password. Mine's hooked into a guest network, so it just automatically confirms the password. Now going through the terms and conditions. All right, now if you do not have a Samsung account, this is where you're gonna to wanna to get one set up. Uh, where you could do that on your mobile or jump over to a computer. If you do have a Samsung account, go ahead and enter in your credentials now. All right, now if you do not have a Samsung account, you're gonna to wanna to go to account.samsung.com to get it all created. Okay, after you sign in with your account, you can select here if you want to back up any kind of data. Click on that, go to next, and then enter in your zip code. Okay, the next step is you can select the apps that you use on a regular basis here, or you can go to like your phone or your tablet, uh, maybe computer, and select your favorite apps that way. Or you can skip this. All right, so since I'm using this thing more as a uh, digital signage screen, um, I'm not going to really put too many apps on here, but it has all your major ones on there. It's got your Netflix, your Prime Video, Hulu, Apple TV. Um, it's got YouTube on there. And a good thing about Samsung is it does have just about all the major apps that are out there available. And the, one of the big ones is if you are a Spectrum TV user, Spectrum TV did sign a deal with Samsung and Roku so that you can watch your Spectrum TV via an app on a Samsung TV or a Roku stick. Once you get all the apps that you want, you'll click on done. And are you ready to enjoy your smart hub? Yes. Okay, so it says let's watch your smart TV is now ready to use. So you can click on start watching. Okay, so this is what the layout of the Samsung uh, search bar looks like on the bottom here. I've always been a fan of what how they've laid it out. The, the color scheme is a little bit different. See how it's all black right here? Um, some of them it's kind of white and some will be blue. It depends on the year and the model that you get. But with this particular model here, that's something that's new from the previous generations, is see where it says free TVs down here at the, down here at the bottom? It says free TVs and then you click down. It gives you free movies, free TV shows and everything. So that's something new that Samsung has added for those people who maybe don't have any subscriptions to Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime or anything like that. You can still access and get content and start watching TV as soon as you get the TV up and running. Um, but those of you guys who do subscribe to your, some of your main channels, um, they do have some that are preloaded in here, or you can go through and just uh, download the particular app that you're looking for. And if you want to connect to like a, a source, maybe you have a DVD player hooked in if you're still watching DVDs, you would go to the source end on all the way to the left, and then you would go up and find the particular uh, input that you have it plugged into. You can hook up a US or universal remote here. Uh, you can do some remote access. Um, I have a computer hooked up to it right now. And then right there, that Samsung TV Plus is um, just more free TV that Samsung has. And it's called their TV Plus program. So yeah, it's a there's a lot of content on here that you can watch without having to pay anything. So I really like that. Now this TV does have Apple AirPlay built into it, so if you do have a, an iPad or iPhone, uh, iMac or anything like that, you can mirror it to this device. I've made a couple videos on how to do that. I can link those in the description down below. Also, um, this hooks up a Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa, so it gives you a variety of different options to be able to do some interesting things. Now this video here is more of just the unboxing and the setup of this TV. 
I'm gonna make another review video on this to show you in depth on what this thing can do. In depth, not in depth. <laughs> but yeah, this is your basics on this setup and unboxing of this awesome 7 Series Samsung Crystal UHD TV. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. If it was, go ahead and throw a thumbs up on this channel. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time. I'd love to have you back in the next one. So until then, God bless and be creative.